Now, one thing that doesn't make sense at all is taking fresh drinking water and flushing it down the drain. In this week's Do It Green or DIG, Rion's got a water saving device that'll also save on your pocket. do we do that? Waiting for the hot water to come out so that we can shower or run the water in a basin in your kitchen so you can start washing the dishes. Now that water going down the drain is called red water. The average house loses 16,000 liters of red water every year. Multiply that with all the houses and you can see all the water that's been lost. Rather put that cold water into your swimming pool or in the tanks so you can use it in your garden. And we've got the right device to install to save all that water. The device to save your red water is called a red water diverter. And it's this small copper device you're seeing right here. It's very easy to install. You don't need a plumber. You can do it yourself. As you can see, the hot water would come from the bottom and will go out to your tap. But on this side, you'll see the cold water will go through a pipe into a water catchment into your pool. You can even have a catchment in your roof. You can use that water again to flush your toilets. There's a small little thermostat in the inside. As the cold water goes in, it goes straight into the tank. Same pressure. But as soon as the hot water comes in, the thermostat kicks in and the hot water goes to your tap. So you ain't wasting any water, you can reuse your water. The installation as you can see, very very easy. That was the hot water pipe coming in. We just unscrew this flexi pipe from the tap, screw it in on the bottom, put a new flexi pipe on the tap and screw it on the side, and then we put a copper pipe going out to a water catchment on the outside where we're going to catch all this red water. So you'll see when we open the hot water tap now, there will be a trickle of water. As soon as the hot water reaches the thermostat, it's open up and your water is warm immediately. So all you have to do is to drill a hole through the wall, bring your red water pipe out and it goes into a Jojo tank. So this water can now be used to water your garden. You can even put it in buckets, fill up your toilet system. And that's another point you can do. When you build a new house, you can put one of these tanks in your roof, run all your red water into the tank and you can use that water to flush your toilets. And another easier way of doing by filling your pool is to fit one of these connectors. So you don't have to run all this pipe, you can just put a connector on there, attach your hose pipe to that, run it to your swimming pool, and so you can fill your swimming pool. And you don't have to do that every second week, spending a lot of money filling your swimming pool. So that's it, do it green and make a difference. <music>